well, I, I've been very pr proud of the leadership role that I played at the, the national level in uh, embryonic stem cell research. Uh, I think it's such an important issue, and I have many times said it will fundamentally change the course of medicine within the next decade once we realize the full potential of stem cell research. But it takes the federal government getting behind this effort in a, uh, in a robust way with funding and support and oversight. And, uh, and I know that uh, that will be one of the uh, bills that are brought up early on it's part of Leader Posey's uh, first 100 hours uh, uh, and the bills that will be proposed. And uh, we will pass the embryonic stem cell research uh, bill once again. Uh, now, uh, in terms of actually what it will look like, I expect that it will look very much like uh, what was passed uh, last year. Uh, we have to remember now that we have many more Democratic members. We uh, will have a stronger majority when we pass that. Uh, stem cell bill, but remember that it passed with both Democratic and Republican support. It was a, uh, a bipartisan effort. It was an issue that transcended uh, politics and, uh, and uh, other, other uh, various points of view. Uh, we passed that with strong bipartisan support. We'll have even more support this time around. I'm hopeful that we'll, we will have, or at least be closer to, uh, have, passing it with a veto-proof majority, but I'm not certain on that yet. Uh, same thing in the, in the Senate. But I believe that in very short order, the, the stem cell research bill will be back on the president's desk. Uh, I look forward to playing a very strong leadership role in getting that bill through the House and the Senate, getting it to the president, and I'm hopeful this time uh, that the president uh, will sign it. Now, of course, Bush used his first ever veto as his presidency in vetoing the first bill. What what is is, is it? Sixty percent is a veto-proof majority in the in the House and the Senate, or is it? Three-fourths? Uh, two-thirds. has two to pass. It, we would need uh, to pass that bill with more than two-thirds of the vote for the House and the Senate uh, in order to override uh, a presidential veto if it, if it came to that. Uh, I'm not certain where we are on that yeah. yet, but we're, we're already counting numbers. And I have already started uh, reaching out to and lobbying and, and, and working with the new members that are coming in, new Democrats that, are, yeah. that have been elected, uh, to get their uh, position on stem cell, talk to them about my position. And, uh, and working to uh, earn their support for the, uh, the, the stem cell research bill. And I get positive response from, uh, from most of the, uh, the Democrats that I have, I've spoken to. And, uh, and again, I know that there are Republicans, uh, uh, Democrats and Republicans that are working very hard right now to see to it that we have the support to pass that bill once again, hopefully this time again with a uh, veto-proof majority. And is there anything um, that Rhode Islanders can do to support this effort? Or you know both federally, but also, is there any state statewide effort going on right now in terms of figuring out a way for the state of Rhode Island to invest in stem cell research? Sure. Well, I know that there are members of the legislature who are uh, establishing a commission to uh, understand better what other states are doing uh, with respect to providing support for uh, stem cell research. Uh, if there's something that Rhode Island can be doing or should be doing, particularly putting ourselves in a strong position uh, when and if the, uh, the the stem cell research. Uh, bill passes, uh, we want to make sure that Rhode Island is a strong position to play a, 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 a strong role and, and take advantage of research opportunities and offering uh, our expertise and, uh, in, this, in this field for, in terms of researchers that, that may reside in the state that are, that are in that field. Uh, I also know that uh, uh, incoming Lieutenant Governor Elizabeth Roberts, I'm proud to work with her on the stem cell research issue, and she and I held a press conference in the uh, in, in, during the course of the campaign, and uh, which Senator, now Lieutenant Governor, uh, elect uh, Elizabeth Roberts, uh, is going to play a strong leadership role on the stem cell research issue, and I look forward to our continued relationship uh, uh, on stem cell.